that I am discussing a textbook that I use in a class called Zero Management or Society, Environment, and Change. And this is the textbook that, use, that I use to address the fourth objective of the course, the fourth learning objective, the learning objective that states that by the end of the course, students will be able to apply knowledge of human behavior change and adoption diffusion of innovations theory to specific sustainable practices and create a campaign to facilitate their adoption based on adoption diffusion theory. So this is a uh, this is a book. It's written for a popular audience. It is a social science book, and Everett Rogers is a um, social scientist, actually a rural sociologist. And this theory, this adoption diffusion theory, is probably one of the most influential theories coming out of rural sociology, with broad application to um, all kinds of different topics, from medicine to um, to medicine, healthcare, to technology. This really addresses the question of how ideas or innovations or technologies spread, spread among people, spread among use, um, popularity, and how, how culture both facilitates that and, um, and can hinder, and, uh, and how technologies and ideas have to fit within uh, a specific context to diffuse effectively. So um, a lot of this you'll read and you'll think, okay, I can totally see that. It makes sense. Um, and you'll probably thinking, be thinking of examples of how, um, how you watched a, a particular trend or a particular practice spread um, as you're reading this. This is the most, I, uh, popular of our, of our textbooks. Again, it's written by a, um, you know, PhD social scientist, and it's commonly used among, um, among academics doing adoption diffusion research, but it is also totally accessible to anybody. It's probably written in about a, you know, sixth grade reading level, which is about what most newspaper articles are written at. Um, and you, it's also a very, thick book with uh, a lot of repetition. So you will find this to be repetitive. You will find this to be a quick read. Again, looking at that reading level, especially compared to other textbooks, um, you will not be looking up unfamiliar words. You will not be um, reading paragraphs multiple times. In fact, you'll probably find yourself skimming more when you're reading this text than others. So um, while it is large in uh, girth, it is deceptively um, it is a deceptively quick read. So um, that is Diffusion of Innovations. It is, uh, again, most of, the, most of the principles in here will be um, easily understood by you. So if we're using the bicycle analogy, um, you will be coasting and uh, feeling the wind in your face as you, as you read this uh, book relatively quickly and the concepts are absorbed um, pretty quickly. Uh, it's important that it comes later in the course because it is everything else, all the theory uh, that comes before it sets the context. And so um, I hope that by the time you're diffusing your own practices, you are, uh, you are applying concepts you know, that have built over time. So this is diffusion of innovations. We will use the vocabulary of adoption diffusion theory. So we will talk about um, we will talk about laggards and we will talk about um, diffusion networks and rates of adoption and um, the innovation decision process and this confirmation stage and, um, and aspects of reinvention and uh, we will use we will be definitely using these this vocabulary as we move through the course.